Greetings, intrepid adventurers. Welcome to The Peak. This is Peak D&D. I'm Ben, and in this video series, we are going through Tasha's Cauldron of Everything as a source book and discussing each and every feat that you can take to elevate your game as your character levels up. Today, we're talking about the feat in Tasha's Cauldron of Everything called a Shadow Touched for all of you edgelords out there. Roll some initiative, because we're about to do this. Welcome back, adventurers. Today we're talking about the feat Shadow Touched. If your character has ever been to the Shadowfell, its presence sort of sticks with you, and that's what this feat is all about. You gain the following benefits with Shadow Touched. You get to increase your intelligence, wisdom, or charisma by one to a maximum of 20, blah, blah, blah. Learn the invisibility spell and one other first level spell from the illusion or necromancy schools of magic. This is very useful because you can cast these spells without using a spell slot once per long rest. Or you can use a spell slot you already have of the appropriate level to cast that spell again. While this might seem a little straightforward and sound an awful lot like Fey touched, as the Fey Wild and the Shadowfell are sort of the yin and yang of the material plane and opposite ends of that spectrum, both of these feats, both of these feats, of the two of these feats, of the two of these feats, of both of these feats, I think Shadow touched is more useful to a broader range of characters as they level up. Invisibility is a great spell to have no matter what class you're playing, no matter what your character is or what their role in the party might be. Also, Shadow Touched is useful for a lot of different classes, particularly rogues, rangers, anybody who wants to operate with a little more stealth and, and a few other ways to do it. But the spells you get to pick with that extra spell slot for the first level spell from Illusion or Necromancy can also come in clutch for any character depending on what they might want to do with it. So it's really nice to be able to add some extra flavor to your character. Well, that's going to do it for Shadow Touched and our review of Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. Hey, thanks for checking out this video, adventurers. We're going to see you in the next one. Make sure you roll to hit that subscribe button, cast Bigby's liking hand, and cast the wardings around the notification bell so you don't miss anything as the channel levels up. Check back here at Peak D&D for all of the Tasha's Cauldron of Everything feats review videos along with gameplay, videos on DM advice and player tips. That's going to do it for this week's video. We'll see you in the next one. Keep on climbing and we'll see you at the peak.